never forget when the first time I entered my high school dorm. At the moment, I was really excited to make friends with youth from all around Indonesia. So there was my first time to live together with people from various backgrounds. And for the first time, I lived together with non-Japanese people, like Maduris, Sundanese, Bugis, or even Banjar people. And then I just find it cute when we misunderstand, but we keep trying to understand how we communicate with each other in our local wisdom. Hello everybody, dear honorable judges and fellow participants. In this wonderful opportunity, I am very excited to deliver my speech that related to my journey of learning pluralism and tolerance. By the title, Boarding School is Another Miniature of Indonesia. So ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Indonesia has historically been a multicultural country, with people from ethnic groups including people from indigenous backgrounds. Indonesia itself has more than 6,000 inhabited islands, 240 million citizens, 300 ethnic groups, and 740 languages. And if we link it to Indonesia's national motto, Bineka Tunggal Ika, which in English means unity and diversity, reflects the actual reality of Indonesian society. But the problem is, nowadays, the diversity of culture in Indonesia began to be disturbed. It's marked by the emergence of various inter-ethnic conflicts, such as conflict in Sampit, Lampung, or elsewhere. Yet it is important for us to realize that the evidence shows ethnic tolerance in Indonesia is still unstable. Consequently, efforts to develop stable tolerance must be done by all Indonesian society through pluralism education. So now my question is, what is the contribution of education in developing tolerant society? In this case, boarding school plays a big role. Boarding school brings together students from various ethnicities, races, and languages. Indirectly, it opens the student's horizon to see the diversity as open wide eyes. In education process, boarding school not only enhance the student's knowledge, but also improve morale, teach them to respect spiritual human values, teach honest attitudes, and get used to religious ethics. And if we back to my experience, when I was living in dormitory, I was forced to adapt to the society. And the society was more complex since it's formed by not only one culture, I was facing many problems lived together with people from various backgrounds. In the beginning, I was facing many problems lived with non-Japanese people. Like their voice sounds too loud, their words sound too harsh, or their face sometimes is like the Bukorkan, and I don't even know why. Not frequently, I have to repeat a sentence in another language just to communicate with them. I totally know, no matter how far I will run from them, I will still see them when I open my eyes in the morning. So the situation just made me have to face them alone. It is actually not that big deal, but those little things make me have a better self-tolerance. Then now, I know how to control myself and what to do if my Maduranese friend get mad on me. Or even now, I'm totally okay if my Buganese friend shout at me. So, ladies and gentlemen, in short, boarding school education system has many benefits and advantages, such as teaching the importance of independence living, discipline, self-control, regularity of life, and of course, tolerance. Boarding school can be a place to educate and train young generation before they plunge into the wider society. In other words, we can say that boarding school is another miniature of Indonesia. I'm Rali Gina Jandi from Mantiga, Jombang. Thank you so much for your time and your nice attention, and I'll see you later.